Y'all ready to look at this backpack? I guess I should get dressed, right? It's on now. What's up guys, my name is George and I like backpacks. This is the Thule Paramount bag and I love Thule bags. When they come out, I'm like a fat kid chasing an ice cream truck. I gotta get one because they're such high quality backpacks. And I'm like, yes, they come out and they come out more often it seems like than other backpack companies. They're always turning out backpacks they're always inventing they're always creating and i love that they listen to their consumers and then they put out quality stuff and they really came out of nowhere you know they were making the stuff that right was like the car rack stuff that's what they were making and then they came out and started making backpacks and really have kind of changed the game up so they give you a nice quality backpack for a considered price. I think this stuff is not too high. It's right there in a good range for an average person that wants a quality backpack. Yes, Thule is killing it out here. So this backpack right here is 27 liters. And I think it's a perfect kind of like office, everyday carry, um, more professional background type of backpack. It gives me that vibe, even as kind of a school look. It definitely gives me that vibe. And I think it comes in like three separate colors, but I think they do a really good job in this black. I think that can go pretty much everywhere. That's why you see so many black backpacks. Let's talk about the dimensions on this bag. It's actually 19.7 inches tall. It's 13 inches wide, and it can expand out to the depth of 10 inches. So you got a lot of space inside of this bag. I'm really, really happy with this bag. A lot of organization built in. You know, I'm a guy that likes pockets. So they put some pockets in here for a guy like me. Plus, it's not it's comfortable, nice comfortable, comfortable backpack, good shoulder straps and back panel. We're gonna run through it from the bottom to the top, like we always say. But let's talk about the stacks a little bit more. This pack weighs in at 2.6 pounds, so not too heavy, not too light. So I actually like the weight a lot. And the whole bag is constructed out of 420D nylon. So you're not down at that very end of super, super tough, but it's not a wimp either. It's got a nice quality material built in, YKK zippers, everything is sewn up really well. Thule is really pushing their stuff to the top of the game. So I would kind of put them in the realm of Osprey and North Face. And, and some of these bags that I've been looking at, they've been a little bit above those companies that feel so comfortable out there in the backpack world. So they need to watch out. Let's talk about this bag. Let's go to the bottom and talk about it. On the bottom of this bag, they come with a heavier rubberized material down at the bottom. So they didn't list the material on their website, but I'm thinking this is some kind of, like I said, rubberized TPU type of feeling material. Then as you move up the bag, they kind of hid. This is a little bike light attachment right here. This is like a daisy chain. So you can attach your, your bike light to this or any other, you know, nicks and bobs you wanna kind of attached to the front and they kind of did it just like that Tempo 2 bag that I did not too long ago and they hid it under a little pocket so kind of fades away you can't see it let's move to the side of the bag and talk about this side I like what they did on the side of this bag it's really well engineered let me not stop talking about it we get to our first YKK zipper right here they gave you a little bit of nylon uh, it's not 550 quarters a little smaller than that and then they covered the zipper with a little rubberized coating making the zippers silent when you move so you don't hear that jingling and jangling when you're moving around with this backpack which is really important to some people kind of important to me I like that kind of silent zipper pull thing that's that this thing has going on reminds me of the Goruck GR1 a little bit let me stop reminiscing about other backpacks so on this side right here we'll unzip and in there you have your organization your admin section 
really like the way they did it. They gave you enough space with the pocket on the outside that you could actually stick items in here and really fill this organization up. So you got, uh, let's start from the outside and then we'll work our way in. So on the lid of the pocket right here, you got a little zipper panel and in here, I put some breath mints, some Wrigley's double mint gum, and then you also have like a little key keeper. I wish this was a little bit longer so you could actually unlock your door instead of it being so short and you gotta put it inside. But <laughs> look at this. Look at the interior lining in this bag. Nice, like it's like a golden brown interior right here. It feels excellent. Um, I mean, they're taking cues from higher end bags right here. The mesh in here is good. The zippers are good. And then as we move in a little bit, we got two, two slip pockets, one larger one right here, and then one smaller one. So in here, I put my Lumatop EDC tool, and then I also put in a Benchmade Griptilian. Just got this knife super, super sharp. Got the access lock. Really like that for everyday carry. Then I transferred over my little mini G2 Pilot pen. Got my mini, took the top off of it. Got my mini Sharpie right here. And then also you have a little slip pocket down here that works out really well. I was able to slip in my sunglasses. So you got a slip pocket, nice organization. All of it works really well inside of this pocket. So whoever was engineering this, they was right on point far as the organization in this pocket. So nothing really else going on on this side of the bag. You do, like I said, you have that zipper. It does have a little zipper garage, kind of just walked over there, missed that. So that's gonna keep the rain out. I actually like that a lot. And then on the other side, they came and did something totally different. So you got your admin side on one, and then on the other side, they gave you a nice water bottle pocket. This is the 27 ounce Camelback chute right here. Slips in there with no problem. And it's got the hideaway design with the bungee in the back. So, you know, when you stick a water bottle in there, it expands for you. When you don't have anything, it kind of pulls up tighter to the bag. Actually like that then what you're starting to see on bags more and more is a grab handle on the side of the bag this is super useful this is super useful I'm coming out of my car I'm grabbing my bag boom it's in my hand and they didn't give you like a like a little weak grab handle they gave you a solid nylon webbing it's padded somewhat there got a nice grab to it this this is this is 2020 this is what i'm talking about high vis lining inside grab handles on the side of the bag yes then we got a side pocket right here too this is your quick access into your main compartment so this is kind of a roll top design so they're giving you two ways to get inside this bag this is what i'm talking about innovation innovation in the backpack. Let's flip the bag around and talk about the grab handle, the harness system, the back panel, all of that comfortable stuff, the stuff that we interact with every day right here in the back. So you got a padded grab handle at the top. Now, I hate reminiscing, like I've seen so many bags, I wanna compare them to other bags. This feels like a North Face grab handle. Really padded really well, it's vented on the back actually sewn in really well i like it a lot nothing to complain about there got two contoured shoulder straps here they did them really well contoured like i said vented the density of the, the shoulder straps themselves is good i mean i got no complaints you even got a little bit of branding when they when Dooley does their branding they just do it small and minimal Nothing huge saying, I'm here. It's just, hey, subtle bag. Take me into the office. Take me into a professional work environment or take me into class. I like it. Let's look these shoulder straps back and talk about the back panel. Now, you guys know I'm a big, big back panel guy. I like when the back panel is right. I like it when it's been designed and kind of molded and they did it on this bag. They took the best design that I kind of think that's out right now and put it on this bag. With the mesh, with the rip, rippled or beveled foam, it's, it feels really good and it's, it's got a nice density to it. So you're getting airflow and comfort. That's what I like. And then in the middle, they gave you a luggage pass-through. So 
you can take this into, like I said, to the office environment. You take this into your, let me flip it over the right way. You, tip, you put this on, you know, your luggage carry-on there with the, with the handles, run it through. Now you're carrying two pieces of luggage at once. So they're thinking about a lot of different things. I'm sure it's like a team of guys that is just like, how can we make this backpack great? And I think that team of guys needs a round of applause. Let's get into the pockets in this bag. Got a lot of, lot of different pockets going on kind of in the front of this bag. So let's start with the front pocket right here. We have magnets in the front. Lift it up, drop it down. Magnets, they're great. And then we get to, again, YKK zippers. Now, if I was to knock on this bag, I would have liked to seen those YKK zippers just a little bit bigger. They're a smaller YKK zipper. I don't know. Maybe a number six, you know, YKK zipper. I like the, the, the lanyard that they did, but the, 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 the zipper compared to the bag just looks a little small. So that's something I would have improved on. In the front, quick access. I want my first aid kit in there that's the adventure medical kit if you ever want to check out any of my stuff check the links in the description that's where i leave all the links for everything including the bag it's down in the description down here in this pocket in the front there's really no organization just a slip pocket or a dump pocket where you can put your items in but they carry that high vis lining through that bright gold or yellow lining feels really good it's like silky smooth inside this pocket all right let's move up to the top let's talk about the lid of the of this bag right here so you have a big pocket the whole lid right here this is magnets again with the magnets so but let's talk about the pocket the pocket right here is a good size so maybe like five or six inches deep you can put a lot of items in there. I just stuck in there my totes umbrella. I put it right there on the top. So if it starts to rain, boom, I got a umbrella. Also on this lid, you got the main branding on the bag. Look how small this is. Look how small this branding is compared to the bag. It's 27 liters, big bag. Nice small branding. It could have been just a little smaller, but I like it. This is reflectivity. So if you're wearing this bag at night, people are gonna be able to see you. I like it. You flip it over and you don't just get into a regular roll top. You actually have some more additional pockets right here. So this pocket is, you know, a padded up pocket. It's got actually a divider in there. And I put my hand sanitizer. Couldn't be more appropriate for the times that we're living in right now. And you got a, a little separator divider in there. But nice place for a cell phone. Nice place for your sunglasses. Now let's get into the main section of this bag. What you'll notice, you got a little stopper up here right between the zippers on the top of the main section. That's to keep your zippers right there, easy to access so they don't zip around to the side. They're, all, they're always going to be right here in the middle of the bag. You just unzip and it kind of pull it down. It's like a top access type of thing right here. Improvement, if they could design it, is a clamshell opening that would rip this thing all the way down. I would have really enjoyed that. But I like it the way it is. That would have just made it better. Then inside we have like I said, that bright gold interior. And there's a lot of space in this bag. So I got my Kafaru pullout right here where I keep all my odds and ends. Sony XM3s, great noise canceling headphones. What else do I have in this bag? Peak Design tech pouch. Yeah, if you watch my videos, it's the same shit. I pull out the same shit every time. But this is the stuff I carry. So inside, that's kind of the space. What you have in there also is a little mesh pocket right here in the front where you can slip some items in. That's where I put my AC's rule notebook. Great. So, and then you have some additional pockets right here. So you actually have three separate pockets in here. Like one could be for documents, one could be for a tablet if you wanted to. And this back one, is the largest one where I slipped in my 15 inch Dell XPS. That is your laptop compartment. What I like about this laptop compartment is you can reach in from this way. On the top, top access like we usually do, but you also have a side access back here on this, on this back panel where you can actually reach into that same laptop compartment 
and you actually, if you look in there, you have a secondary tablet compartment in here. It's padded up really well. Both of these things are suspended off the bottom. How can you lose? Also on this back panel, you have another little zipper pocket right here where you can slip in. This is like your secret pocket. You don't, you don't tell anybody. It's a secret. So you put your little stuff in there and there I put my little Maxpedition Slim wallet where I keep all my IDs, but you can put money in here, passports go in here, nobody can get to it, it's on your back, they can't reach between your back and the back of the backpack to get it, great. So we're down here at the end of the video and we gotta talk about price. The MSRP on this pack is $159.95. George, should I get this pack? Should I pick it up? I say, hell yes, this pack is awesome. I'm telling you the design, the, the, the compartments, the organization in this pack is excellent. I've had like, this is my third or fourth Thule pack. And I'm like, where did this company come from? Cause they are crushing it out here. I mean, no, <laughs> unts but nose to a lot of folks. This is a great pack. Now the zippers are small. That's one complaint that I have about this pack, but Overall, man, this is an excellent deal. I like the fact that they're coming with new and great designs in their packs. Stop seeing the same old stuff, you know, with the double entrances into the laptop compartment, organization on the side of the pack, not in the main portion of the pack, you know, um, great pocket, use of magnets. I mean, interior lighting that feels like silk, this is what I'm talking about. Come to, to 2020, come with me. Come come with me other companies. Take a look at what other companies are doing out here. I'm not gonna get on my soapbox, I'm not gonna do it. Guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button two times. If you wanna talk about everyday carry, we're down in the comments talking about everyday carry packs, flashlights, knives, whatever we carry on a regular basis. If you love this video, subscribe to the channel. We talk about backpacks all the time and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <sighs> Y'all ready to look at this backpack? Hold up, let me get dressed.